Hey everybody, welcome to Studio 013's next installment in our how-to series, How to Play the Guitar. Hey everybody, I'm Mark Hogan, and we are here to learn how to play the guitar. Thank you for joining us. There are all kinds of things out there you can find on how to play the guitar. Tutorials, classes you can take, YouTube videos galore that will cover all your chords, your music theory, how to solo certain songs, uh, where to put your little fingers and why, um, the knobs and things and what they do, and what's up with these little twirly things on the end of your guitar. We don't care about none of that. We're not concerned with that at all. We're going to dive right into the most important thing that will take your guitar playing to the next level. This will get you invited to all the cool parties. You'll be a hit at the campfire, and you'll take your pick of any girl at the dive bar that you're playing in on Thursday nights. Probably Friday night too. In fact, it's scientifically proven to increase your groupie quotient by 89.6%. After all, that's why you picked this up in the first place, isn't it? Well, let's move on with the important items ahead of us. Your rock face. How to hold the guitar. And finally, signature moves that you can incorporate into your own act. Let's get with it. All right, faces, let's dive right in. Number one, the duck face. Perfect for those nice little cruises through the musical blueses, right? Nice little walking blues. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Look at me. All right. On to number two, Nirvana. Most people call this the big O, but my mom watches this, so we're going to go with Nirvana. Nirvana is the, you want to impart a sense of pure ecstasy to your audience at the heavenly notes dripping from your fingertips. Number three, was that a dog? You're conveying a sense of total bewilderment and possible disgust at the malodorous notes emanating from the crunchy amp behind you. Or possibly it was the dog. Next up, Wild Child. Whoa, look out, I'm out of control. Whoa, hey, ah, I can't be trusted. All right, finally, number five of the faces, enraged against the machine. You're mad, you're angry. Start with a frown, hmm. Yeah, maybe a little stomping around. Ugh. Mad at the world. Get those eyebrows working. All right, on with the next section, how to hold the guitar. <clears throat> First up, the philosopher. So the philosopher, generally performed with an acoustic guitar, such as this one right here. And the way you want to hold the philosopher, neck up close to your thoughtful little head while you play those soulful ballads. These are perfect on ladies' night. 
soulful and sweet, full of hearts, and unicorns, and little furry bunnies, and all that other sentimental crap. Lesson learned, do not attempt to perform the more aggressive faces that we learned earlier while using the philosopher. You don't want to be enraged. Or out of control, crazy. Not going to work. Not going to draw in the girls. In fact, if you've got a girlfriend, she'll probably leave you. Trust me on that one. Next up, low rider. The low rider is used with great success by Slash, Jimmy Page, scores of others. The low rider is a great look. Adjust your strap way down low. Can you see it? You want your belt buckle showing over the guitar. Keep in mind this effect can be taken too far. Number three in how to hold the guitar, the phallic. The phallic is a very effective tool used to create an excitement in your audience like nothing else. You hold it down low, point the neck out perpendicular to your body, the butt of the guitar is against your pelvis, and you can just mow them down with those crunchy chords that you save for a special occasion. Made famous by Jimi Hendrix and even Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry is the man. Don't let anybody tell you different. The phallic. Use it wisely. Next up on holding the guitar, the Wayback. The Wayback is very effective when you've got the spotlight on you and you're blistering a solo like you've never done before. Very effective. Hold the guitar normally. Yeah. Lean back. Lean back as far as it's comfortable. That's the way back. Hey, look at me, man. Oh, yeah. I'm way back. Oh, yeah. You have to be way back to hit these notes. You know it. Oh, yeah. Way back. <clears throat> this, too, can be taken too far. Finally, number five on how to hold the guitar, hanging back. Hanging back is primarily used as a prop, or perhaps when you, uh, you're done playing the guitar for a second, but you still want to have it handy. You take the guitar, roll it back right here, you're hanging back. Hands free, you can do stuff, make yourself a drink, get the phone number from the little blonde in the front row. Whatever you want to do. And it's right there when you need it. Never try to go the direction of the neck. It's just, it's promise it's not going to work out for you. All right, hanging back. Don't discount the hanging back. Pretty good effect. Used by Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley. Just like that. Look, Ma, no hands. Hello, I'm not Johnny Cash. There you go. Finally, we come to signature moves. These are some of the most iconic moves used by the biggest rock stars the world has ever known. The windmill, Pete Townsend. The duck walk, invented by Chuck Berry, perfected by Angus Young. <sighs> All right, so the duck walk didn't go so well. Wasn't that hard 10 years ago. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna try another one here. Very simple, called Reach for the Sky. Very effective, very visually, hey, look at me. Uh, easiest thing to do is, well, you've got a little hammer on pull off going on here. And you got a little wave action going there, maybe a peace sign, maybe a different sign.
So we finally conclude with the last of the signature moves, and this is going to be the Angus. Now the headbangers have erroneously claimed this as their own, but it's all Angus Young. Angus Young of ACDC invented this 247 years ago. It's his, okay? Basically what it is is a severe head bobbing up and down to the beat of the music, which he creates. Get it? Got it. There you have it, folks. <clears throat> there you have it, folks. How to play the guitar. A lot of valuable information there that comes with a heavy responsibility to be responsible with the responsibility that you're responsible for. If used sparingly, wisely, judiciously, will take your guitar playing to the next level. Not to mention, increase your caliber of your groupies by 89.3%. For Studio 13, I'm Mark Hogan, and we will see you next time. Shit.